Welcome to our RV camping adventure. Today we're going to dive into the first of a three-part series on setting up our Forest River Sandpiper fifth wheel RV. From parking to leveling, getting the slides in and out, and everything in between, we've got you covered. Let's get started. I'm Elizabeth. This is Cole. Let's rewind a couple days to when we arrived and I'll show you how we got this thing set up. All right, so we made it to our campsite. We've got to unhook and set up our 40 foot sandpiper here. Uh, we have automatic six point leveling. Uh, we have a gooseneck adapter instead of the standard fifth wheel. So that's a little different than your standard setup. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up here and I'm gonna unhook which is just a pull straight back and twist. So that's unhooked where it's coming off my ball. Then I'm gonna come back here and unhook my trailer. My wiring, like so. Throw it in my bed and then I put my tailgate down. So this particular model camper has an app that controls everything. A lot of campers don't. It's called One Control by Lippert. It's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So we're gonna come here to leveling. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure everything is sturdy. I've already put my blocks in on the back to make sure my tires won't roll. And I've already hooked my electrical cord up so our air conditioning can start working. So back to my one control app. I'm gonna come down here to leveling. And then I'm going to first go to manual mode. And I'm going to hit enter to go into manual mode. And the first thing I want to do is lift it off my truck. So I'm going to push the plus because that's going to extend the front jacks. And then I'm going to hit the front button. All right, at this point we have the camper picked up off the truck and it's gonna be time to get the camper away from the truck. So uh, we'll go ahead and drive the truck forward and be right back. All right, now we have the truck pulled away from the camper. So the camper is free to move. Like I said, this particular model has auto leveling on it. So the front jacks have been grounded. It has two other sets of, gra it has three sets of jacks, front, middle, and rear. Uh, all I'm gonna have to do is on my app, I'll hit the auto level button here and you'll see it has sensors throughout. It's gonna ground its other four jack pads and it's about to look like a space robot moving around here until it levels itself. And then it will give me feedback and tell me success when it's done. gave me feedback on my phone screen as you can see it says success it has successfully been leveled so the next step that I'm going to do is I am going to put the stairs out on both of my doors and get my doors unlocked that way I can go in and make sure during travel that nothing has fell down to obstruct obstruct the slides before we start sliding them out
all clear in there. Can't see much through that door. Biggest thing on this model is to make sure that the both of the bathroom and the bedroom door are closed. here. I always try to look up between those two slide outs and make sure there's nothing in the way. Also then I'm just going to get my phone back out, open the One Control app. And I have three individual slide controls here. My front two slide outs are electric off door slide and door slide will be the front two slides that are electric and then my other four slides are all hydraulic that will go out simultaneously with the least amount of resistance in that order when I do the middle so uh, we'll do the front ones first just have to hold the out button try to keep an eye on it as it goes out to make sure you don't see anything that gets in its way There's the first, uh, that's the door slide, now we got the off door slide. which will be both slide outs in the bedroom, the kitchen and the dining room area and they, they just open up in the order of least resistance as far as weight so it just depends how the camper is sitting so kitchen slides are normally my uh, I worry about something getting caught up. The clanging you hear is just the blinds on the windows. What is this? Uh, this is where some of my interior lighting is. And then here is, if I don't want to use my one control app, this is how I would control things on board. The camper such as my slides it'll tell you my how full my monitor panels are my holding tanks I can run my awning in and out my leveling my lighting um we've been on the road for about five hours now so i've been running a power inverter for my refrigerator so now that we're hooked back into shore power i'm going to go ahead and turn that off that means we're running off the camper's batteries instead of uh the plug-in power that just works on the two refrigerators so when that's off, that means the inverter's off. We no longer need it. So as far as interior interior goes, all the mechanics of the camper are set up. Now it's just a matter of walking around and getting the rest of the things set up to your uh, operator standards. I do need to hook the water hose up yet. That's outside. We'll do that here in just a second. Let's see the bedroom. Uh, we have an aftermarket mattress on our in our camper, so this is not standard. Every time I set this up, I have to open the door. And after we set it up, the mattress will be in the way. I'll have to slide the mattress back up on to the bed frame. Uh, we didn't like the mattress that came with it that actually folded in half, so we have an actual full king size mattress back here, but it falls off the bed every time we close it up. Which, for a good night's sleep, I'm willing to do that. There we go push past it and all I got to do is give it a little heave ho and it's good to go. This is a 40 foot camper, it has two big air conditioners but on a 100 degree day the 100% humidity it struggles so this big back air conditioning unit in the bedroom I always try to put a tower fan here and blow it up into the main cabin to help keep the main cabin cool. 
Now we just let the air conditioners do their work. Go ahead and get the hose set up and be ready to keep. One more thing, show me the bathroom. Uh oh, we had a casualty, we had a casualty. Some shower stuff fell and spilled, that's okay. Plenty of bathroom storage. Oops, another casualty. Lots of room for storage in here. Oh, and this is where a washer and dryer would go too, if you would choose to have them. Hey, one more thing before we do the outside. Can you tell me about the fridge? This is a, this is a regular residential fridge. It's not a, not what most RVs have in it. Most RVs have a system that when you're on the road, you're heating ammonia, ammonia off of propane, and that's what keeps this cold. So in this case, this is the same kind of refrigerator that you'd have in your home kitchen. It only plugs into 120 volts AC. Um, when we're going down the road, we have a power inverter that takes two 12 volt batteries like you have in your car that are on board of the camper and converts that power into 120 volts AC to run this refrigerator. The truck constantly charges the batteries of the camper as it's being pulled so as long as the truck's running the camper batteries are being charged therefore the refrigerator can continuously run. Um, one thing that is a novice mistake and it's caught me before being in a hurry is this little knob here locks the refrigerator shut. I've pulled the camper before and forgot to put this in and then when you open the door, potato salad and <laughs> all of the fixes will be all over the floor and you'll probably have a few choice words you want to say because I <laughs> always do. Um, we've just pulled this thing 250 miles. Let's open it up. I'm going to be very cautious and careful about what I do to make sure we don't make a mess, but I can about promise you that something is gonna try to fall out on the floor here. So let's check it out. It's kind of long winded. I always just take it and we kind of have our little utility cabinet where there's some tools and stuff. I always stick it in there, so. Yep, you just heard it there when our first thing. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, you can dip. catch it. It's just lunch meat. It's just yep. lunch and meat. There's, uh, and dip, some corn dip. Yeah, so here we go. There's. Oh yeah. All the great necessities of things that would have fell out on the floor as we went down the road. So don't lose the strawberry pie up there. Good job, good job. So yeah, uh, everything you see here would have fell out all over the floor. So, small fry here wants some milk, so we probably better hook him up. All right, thanks for showing me the fridge. We've had a long road trip, and this guy is just about done with recording YouTube videos, but stay tuned for part two, how we set up the, what are we doing? Water and sewer? Yeah. How we set up the outside. Stay tuned.